Dr. King, to apply now the bus boycott and general feeling that one finds here in Montgomery to the overall problem between white and black in the South, what has the boycott done aside from integrating buses in Montgomery? Have the relations between the whites and the blacks here improved? Have they improved, say, to the point where an interracial approach to school integration could be attempted? Or, Dr. King, and this is an important question, has your method, has the boycott, brought perhaps still more bitterness? At points, I think it has. Uh, very frankly, I think uh, there is a great deal of bitterness. However, I would say that this is something of a necessary phase of the evolution of the transition. Channels of communication are temporary clo temporarily closed. But I don't think this is permanent. This is uh, the response that you always get in a moment of social change. Privileged classes rarely ever give up privileges without strong resistance. But I think these uh, sort of jangling discords will soon be transformed into meaningful symphonies of racial harmony in which we will be able to work out the problem. And I don't think it would be in, the, in, in, in many, many years off, but it will be in the not too distant future. And you really feel that in the long run then, it has been a beneficial experience and has not increased hatred, even though momentarily there is a bitter and sharp division. That's right, yes. Dr. King, what do you see ahead, I mean, in the future pattern of race relations in the United States? Well, I'm, I'm quite hopeful about uh, the future pattern of race relations. I realize that there will be difficulties, and uh, the reactionaries of the white South uh, will make it uh, more difficult in, in order to get to this goal of integration. But I think there are other things at work which will defeat all barriers in the long run. For instance, that is increasing industrialization and concomitant urbanization. These things will inevitably undermine the folk ways of white supremacy. Uh, the white South, or many persons, young white men, are, are good businessmen, and they see that bigotry is a very costly thing. I think also the Christian church will be forced to continue to take a strong stand and urge its members to match uh, profession with practice, and also uh, the determination of the Negro himself to achieve freedom will be one of the greatest forces to bring about integration and the rolling tide of world opinion will force the federal government to take even a stronger stand. So that I'm quite optimistic about it. I think we live in one of the most momentous periods of human history. These are great days to be alive. And I feel that before the turn of the century, segregation on the basis of race will be non-existent. Thank you, Dr. King.